Hey, what's up everybody? Molten Mage here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get all the mounts that are obtainable from the Mist of Pandaria. For every mount in this video, I have provided coordinates of each of their locations and timestamps of each specific mount in the video description down below. First is the Red Flying Cloud. To get this mount, you must become exalted with the Lore Walkers. To do that, you must visit all the different waypoints here in Pandaria. Once you get to the waypoint, you must either read the scrolls that are there, or inspect the Brewmaster statues. Upon finding scrolls or Brewmaster statues, you will gain progress towards each lore object's exploration achievement. Upon completion of each achievement, you will get quest starting items mailed to you that will give you about 3k reputation with the lore walkers. Keep up this process of finding scrolls or statues until you become exalted with the lore walkers. Make sure when you are looking for scrolls in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms to speak to Zindormi so that the zone will be in the past version and not the present version. Once exalted, speak to Tan Jin Tao, the Lorewalker's Quartermaster, and purchase the Red Flying Cloud. Next is the Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent. To get this mount, you need to become exalted with Emperor Shao Hao and farm 100,000 timeless coins. To do that, head to the Timeless Isle and kill the mobs at the circled locations. I would recommend getting a party of 5 and farming these spots as being in a full group will help speed up the process. Once you get the necessary reputation and coins, speak to Mistweather Ku located here and buy the Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent. Next here is the Thundering Onyx Cloud Serpent. To get this mount, you need to head to this location on the Timeless Isle and farm the rare elite Hulan. Hulan has a spawn timer of approximately 40 to 60 minutes and has about a 1% chance to drop the Thundering Onyx Cloud Serpent. You can farm Hulan without any limit and loot him as many times as you are able to get the tag on him. I would highly recommend getting into a full party and farming Hulan as there is a lot of competition for this mount. Next are the Azure, Golden, and Jade Cloud Serpents. To get these mounts you need to become exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent and to do that you first need to speak to Elder Anli located here in the Jade Forest. She will give you the quest called Wild Things. This will get you started on an introductory quest chain that you will need to complete. Once the quest chain is completed, this will open up dailies for you that you can complete for reputation and unlock the ability for you to farm onyx eggs for which you can turn in for reputation. You can farm these eggs at this location here in the Jade Forest. Once you become exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent, you can purchase the Cloud Serpents from San Red Scale, the Serpent Keeper, located here. Next are the Grey Riding Yak, Blonde Riding Yak, and Grand Expedition Yak. To get these mounts you simply need to speak to Uncle Big Pocket located here in Kunlai Summit and purchase the Yaks for gold. Next here is the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. This mount drops off the world boss Shaw of Anger located here in Kunlai Summit. He has about a 1 in 2000 chance to drop the mount and you only get to loot him once per week as he is subject to a weekly lockout. To give you a second shot at the mount, you can purchase Elder Charms of Good Fortune from Commander Lo Ping located here in Town Long Steps. If you have an Elder Charm of Good Fortune prior to killing the Shaw of Anger, you will get a second chance to roll for loot from the Shaw of Anger. Next is the Astral Cloud Serpent. To get this mount, you need to head to the Mogushan Vaults located here in Kunlai Summit. Once inside, go in and kill the boss Elgalon on either Heroic or Normal Difficulty. He will have about a 1% chance to drop them out. Next are the red, green, and black primal raptors. To get these mounts head to the Isle of Giants located here in Pandaria. Kill all the mobs on the isle and they will each have a small chance of dropping primal eggs. You can only carry one primal egg at a time. Once you have a primal egg, you will have to wait 3 days until it hatches. Once it is hatched, it will have a chance of either being the red, green, or black versions of the primal raptor. Next here is the Bone White Primal Raptor. To get this mount, head to the Isle of Giants located here in Pandaria. Once there, you will need to start farming giant dinosaur bones, as you will need 9,999 of them to purchase the Bone White Primal Raptor. To farm these giant dinosaur bones, you can either kill all the mobs on the Isle of Giants, or purchase them from the auction house. Once you have enough giant dinosaur bones, you will need to speak to Kuma, located in a cave here on the Isle of Giants, to purchase the mount. Next is the Cobalt Primordial Direhorn. To get this mount, head to this location here on the Isle of Giants. Once there, you'll need to kill the world boss Undasta, who will have about a 1 in 2000 chance to drop the mount, and you'll only get to loot him once per week as he is subject to a weekly lockout. To give you a second shot at the mount, you can purchase Mogu Runes of Fate from Miss Wither Ali located here on the Timeless Isle. 
If you have a Moguruna fate prior to killing Undasta, you will get a second chance to roll loot from him. Next are the green, red, blue, shadow pan riding tigers, and the onyx cloud serpent. To get these mounts, you will need to get exalted with the shadow pan. You can do that by completing quest series and dailies from the shadow pan garrison located here in the Taolong steps. Keep doing the dailies until you become exalted with the shadow pan. Once exalted, you can purchase the riding tigers. Also, once you're exalted, you'll be able to get the quest called Surprise Attack. Once completing this quest, you'll be rewarded with the Onyx Cloud Serpent. Next is the Crimson Primal Direhorn for Horde and the Golden Primal Direhorn for Alliance. On the Horde side, you'll need to get exalted with the Sun Reaver Onslaught to get the Crimson Direhorn, and on the Alliance side, you'll need to get exalted with the Kirin Tor Offensive to get the Golden Direhorn. To get started with this reputation on the Horde side, you will first need to get the quest The Storm Gathers from Scout Captain Elisa, located here in the Talong Steps. And on the Alliance side, you will also need to get the quest The Storm Gathers from Barisa Windrunner, located here in Talong Steps. This will get you started on a short introductory quest chain that you will need to complete. Upon completion, this will unlock quests and dailies that you can complete to become exalted with your respective faction. Once exalted, you can purchase the Crimson Direhorn from the Sun Reaver Quartermaster located here on the Isle of Thunder, and purchase the Golden Direhorn from the Kirin Tor Quartermaster also located on the Isle of Thunder. Next here is the Thundering Cobalt Cloud Serpent. To get this mount, head to this location here on the Isle of Thunder. Once there, you will need to kill Nalak, who will have about a 1 in 2000 chance to drop them out, and you will only get to loot him once per week as he is subject to a weekly lockout. To give you a second shot at the bount, you can purchase Mogu Runes of Fate from Miswither Ali located here on the Timeless Isle. If you have a Mogu Rune of Fate prior to killing Nalak, you will get a second chance to roll loot from him. Next are the Spawn of Horridon and Clutch of Jikun. To get these mounts, head to the Throne of Thunder raid located here on the Isle of Thunder. You can set the raid to heroic or normal difficulty. Once inside, go and kill the second boss Horridon for a 3% chance for him to drop the Spawn of Horridon mount. After you kill Horridon, go to the 6th boss, Jikun, and kill him for a 3% chance for him to drop the Clutch of Jikun mount. Next is the Amber Scorpion. To get this mount, you need to be exalted with the Calaxi. To do that, you first need to get the quest Falling Down and Nope from Bow Mistress Lee located here in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. This will get you started on a long quest line that you will need to complete. Once completed, this will unlock dailies that will give you reputation for the Calaxi. Once exalted, speak to their quartermaster Amber Smith Zick, located here in Dreadwaste, and purchase the Amber Scorpion mount. Next are the brown, white, and black riding goats. To get these mounts, you need to be exalted with the tillers. To do that, you first need to get the quest A Helping Hand from Farmer Yoon, located here in the Valley of Four Winds. This will get you started on the quest chain you'll need to complete. Once completed, this will unlock dailies for you that will give you reputation with the tillers. Once exalted, speak to their quartermaster Gina Mudclaw, located here in the Valley of Four Winds, to purchase the mounts. Next here is the Son of Galleon. To get this mount, head to this location here in the Valley of Four Winds. Once there, you will need to kill Galleon, who will have about a 1 in 2000 chance to drop the mount. And you will only get to loot him once per week as he is subject to a weekly lockout. To give you a second shot at the mount, you can purchase Elder Charms of Good Fortune from Commander Lo Ping, located here in Taolong Steps. If you have Elder Charms of Good Fortune prior to killing Galleon, you will get a second chance to roll loot from him. Next is the Azure Water Strider. To get this mount, you need to be exalted with the Anglers. To do that, you will first need to complete the prerequisite quest chain, started by Bow Mistress Lee, located here in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. Once you complete that quest chain, this will open up another quest chain from Deck Boss Ari, located here in Dreadwaste. After you complete the quest chain from Deck Boss Ari, this will open up dailies from the Anglers, located here in the Karasong Wilds. Keep completing these dailies until you become exalted, and once exalted, you can purchase the Azura Water Strider from Nat Pagel and Karasong Wilds. Next are the Grand Armored Viren and Grand Viren for Horde, and the Grand Armored Griffin and Grand Griffin for Alliance. To get the Horde mounts, you must be exalted with the Dominance Offensive, and to get the Alliance mounts, you must be exalted with the Operation Shield Wall. To get started for both sides, you must first set the Veil of Eternal Blossoms to the past version by speaking to Zindormai. On the Horde side, you must speak to Sunwalker Dezko, located here in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, 
and get the quest, Meet the Scout. This will get you started on an introductory quest chain that you'll need to complete. Once completed, this will unlock dailies that will give you reputation with the Dominance Offensive. As you gain more reputation, this will also unlock more of the lore quest chain offered by General Nazgrim. Once exalted, you'll be able to purchase the Grand Armored Viren from the Dominance Offensive Quartermaster located here. Also, once you are exalted and you completed the prerequisite lore quest, you will unlock the quest Breath of the Darkest Shadow. Upon completion of Breath of the Darkest Shadow, you will be rewarded with the Grand Viren. On the Alliance side, you must speak to Lila, located here in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and also get the quest Meet the Scout. This will get you started on an introductory quest chain that you'll need to complete. Once complete, this will unlock dailies that will give you reputation with the Operation Shield Wall. As you gain more reputation, this will also unlock more of the lore quest chain offered by Admiral Taylor. Once exalted, you can purchase the Grand Armored Griffin from the Operation Shield Wall Quartermaster located here. Also, once you are exalted and you completed the prerequisite lore quest, you will unlock the quest Breath of Darkest Shadow. Upon completion of Breath of Darkest Shadow, you will be rewarded with the Grand Griffin. Next are the achievement mounts. You get the Crimson Cloud Serpent from completing the Glory of the Pandaria Hero achievement, the Heavenly Crimson Cloud Serpent from completing the Glory of the Pandaria Raider achievement, the Armored Sky Screamer from completing the Glory of the Thundering Raider achievement, the Spawn of Galcaras from completing the Glory of the Ogamar Raider achievement, and the Pandaren Kite from completing the Pandaren Ambassador achievement, which you complete from getting exalted with all the Pandaria reps. It would take me a while to explain how to get all the Dungeon and Raider achievements, however if you'd like me to make a guide video on how to complete each individual glory achievement, please let me know in the comments down below. Next is the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. To get this mount, you may either purchase him on the auction house or kill Alani who flies around the entire Veil of Eternal Blossom's past version. However, you cannot engage Alani unless you obtain a Sky Crystal. The way you get a Sky Crystal is by farming out Sky Shards from mobs in the Veil. You will need 10 Sky Shards to combine to create one Sky Crystal. Once you have a Sky Crystal, use it to engage Alani. Once you kill Alani, he will drop the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. Next is the Thundering August Cloud Serpent. To get this mount, you must be exalted with the August Celestials. To do that, you need to speak to Sage Lotus Bloom on the Horde side, located here in the Shrine of Two Moons, and on the Alliance side, you need to speak to Sage Whiteheart, located here in the Shrine of Seven Stars. Both will offer you daily quests that will give you reputation with the August Celestials. Keep completing the dailies until you become exalted. And once exalted, you can go back to your faction's quartermaster and purchase the Thundering August Cloud Serpent. Next are the Azure, Golden, and Regal Riding Cranes. To get these mounts, you must be exalted with the Golden Lotus. To get exalted, you simply need to go into the past version of the Veil of Eternal Blossoms and kill any mob there to gain reputation. Keep farming the mobs there until you become exalted. Once exalted, you can purchase the Riding Cranes from the Golden Lotus Quartermaster and the Shrine of Two Moons on the Horde side, located here, and on the Alliance side, the Golden Lotus Quartermaster and the Shrine of Seven Stars, located here. Next here is the Korkron Juggernaut. To get this mount, you need to head to the Siege of Ogrimmar raid, located here in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. Set the raid to Mythic Difficulty. Once inside, you need to go in and defeat the final boss, Garrosh Hellscream. Garrosh will have about a 1% chance to drop the Corcoran Juggernaut. The next mounts are the Slate, Jade, and Amber Direhorns. To get these mounts, you need to kill the Zandalari Warbringers, which have 5 different spawn points across Pandaria. They each have a spawn timer of approximately 30 minutes to an hour, and will be mounted on the potential colored Direhorn they will drop. For example, if the Warbringer spawns on a Jade colored Direhorn, he will have about a 5% chance to drop the Jade Direhorn. I would highly suggest completing this farm in a group as the competition for these mounts are high and being in a group will give you a better chance at getting the tag. And those are all the mounts from the Mists of Pandaria. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I also like to stream on Twitch. If you would like to come check me out, I have provided a link to my Twitch channel in the description down below. Goodbye everybody!